Hey, what's up? I'm Norris and welcome back to another Sew Along. Today I'll be working on my latest simplicity pattern, which is 9931, a full loungewear set. Now today we're going to be working on view D, the robe. Now if you're new to sewing or just need a refresh course, you can sign up to our online sewing and design school, which is sewingacademy.com. Once you sign up there, you can learn the basics and then come back and sew along with me. All right, let's get started. Okay, once again, like I said, we're using my simplicity pattern 9931. And today we're going to be working on view D, which is the robe. Now, if you look at the back, you see all the fabric suggestions here. You'll see notions. You won't need any notions for this particular one. And then also, you want to make sure once you look at sizes, come all the way down to finished garment measurements, and you will see exactly what that finished garment measurement will measure up to, um, just so you'll know more or less what that fit is going to look like. Also, before moving forward, you want to make sure not to forget your extension pieces. You're supposed to join um, piece 16 and 16A to the bottom where the two dots are. And you're gonna do that for 10 and 10A, and then also for 11 and 11A. Now this is the front, the back, and then also your front facings. Now once you have all your pattern pieces cut out of fabric, we could begin sewing. The very first thing we're gonna do is take care of our carriers. So the right size facing, you wanna fold it onto itself, and then pin across the end here. Now head to your machine, you wanna stitch across using 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. So do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. I went ahead and pressed that um, seam open. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a safety pin to turn it right side out. Just right on the end. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure you take that seam and put it in the middle and make sure you kind of open up that seam flat from the inside. And then now we're just going to cut it in half. Okay, so now that I grab my back, you see our two markers for the, the carriers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn under a quarter inch on both ends, and then pin it to the back piece. Okay, so you wanna pin the other carrier to the other side the same way, and just head to the machine and edge stitch on the top and then also on the bottom. So do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so moving right along, as you can see, we have our loops on to the back piece. And then we're gonna take our pocket bags and we're going to place them on the side. Make sure you check all your marker, markings and your notches. We're gonna pin, then same thing to the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna to head to the machine. We're gonna stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance here and then also on the other side. Okay, now that I did one pocket bag, you wanna do the other one the same exact way. Okay, so we're back from the machine. As you can see, my pocket bags are stitched onto the side seams and I went ahead and pressed that seam towards the pocket. Now, I'm going to grab my front pieces and I've went ahead and added my pocket bag to um, the front piece the same exact way. So, but first what we're gonna do is we're going to attach this to the shoulder, bring this down. So we're just going to pin across the shoulders. Okay, so go ahead and stitch down your shoulders using 5 8 7 inch seam allowance and then come back and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see, we attached our front and back at the shoulder seam here, and I already have it um, set up for our next step. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our sleeve. And we're right sides facing. We want the sleeve to match up, double notch to double notch, and then single notch to single notch. That's how you can identify the front and back. And then we have markers for in between those two and also the seam. So let's go ahead and pin everything in place. Mm 
Okay, so now let's head over to the machine and we're going to stitch all the way across to it on one end, across through the shoulder, shoulder seam, and then to the other side using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now once you get done with this side, you want to pin and sew your other sleeve the same exact way. Okay, so we're back for the machine and we have our sleeves attached, as you can see right here. And then now at this point, you're going to see the roll come and take shape. So we're going to match up the outside seams and also right here where you see the pocket bag as well. And I'm going to start pinning right here up under the underarm seam here. Make sure those are aligned. Same thing along the outside of the um, pocket, pocket bag. And there should be a double notch as well. And then also along the rest of the side seam to the bottom. And also at the sleeve, just bringing them together, right sides facing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on one side at a time and we're going to stitch, starting at one hem, going all the way through the underarm and we're going to stop and back stitch and cut our threads right where we have our marker. This is to keep the pocket bag open so you can put your hand in your pocket. If you stitch all the way down, you're gonna close that hole up. So you wanna break your threads and then you want to start again at your other marking. Back stitch and continue all the way down. All right, so you wanna pin your other side the same exact way and let's head to the machine. Okay, we're pushing our marking. Back stitch and cut your thread. And then we're gonna head to our other marking. Okay, so one last thing to do, we're gonna close out the pocket bag. Starting where your stitching line is and we're going to stitch along the outer edge of the pocket bag using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now since we did this side, you want to do the other side the same exact way. Okay, as you can see, we have our sleeves attached and then we close out the outside seam. Next, we're going to go ahead and work on our upper collar. Okay, so we're right sides facing, we're going to pin them along this end here. Okay, so just stitch this across using five eighths of an inch seam allowance, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm back from the machine, went ahead and pressed my seam open. And then next, you wanna go ahead and do a stay stitch starting at your marking, I wanna put notches as you can see right here, but you should have two dots, right? One dot here and one dot here. So I have a stay stitch going from dot to dot with five eighths of an inch seam allowance. So you wanna do that. And then once you do that, you just wanna go ahead and cut into your upper collar until you get to that stitching. And then I'm just gonna trim that down to about three eighths of an inch. Okay, now head to your pressing table, turn this up and give it a really good press right there where that seam is. And then also you wanna go ahead and attach your under collar, the same exact way and press your seams open. But we're not doing a stay stitch on the under collar, just the upper collar, but do put your under collar together and press your seams open. Do all that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, I went ahead and pressed this portion of the upper collar. And then now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and pin these two together. So you wanna go ahead and pin at your dot. And we only pin it across the outer curve here, okay? Wanna make sure you align those notches.
Okay, so now we're gonna head to the machine. We're gonna start on one end and stitch all the way across this curve here and stopping at the other side, leaving the bottom free. Okay, so while we're here, let's go ahead and do some under stitching to the under collar. So since this cutout here is the upper collar and the other side is the under collar, we want to push all of the seam allowance towards the under collar here, okay? And we're gonna go as far as we can. Now that needle is just past the seam allowance on the under collar side, um, maybe less than eighth of an inch. Okay, we're back from the machine. Let's go ahead and trim some of the seam allowance. And you can clip some curves in here if you need to. Okay, so now we're just gonna turn this wrong sides touching. The right side is gonna be out. Okay, so we'll make sure the notch is aligned and everything. So go ahead and give this a really good press once you get it situated and laying flat. Once you give it a good press, go ahead and baste along here, stopping where this cutout is at, and then you want to continue basting here, okay? So do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, we back, went ahead and baste this edge here to keep it together, and gave it a good press. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the neckline. Now there should be a notch and markings for you to properly place it. That shoulder seam should be right here. Okay, so now head to the machine and we're just going to go ahead and just baste once again all the way across to keep this in place and then we're gonna attach our front facing. Okay, as you can see, the collar is based onto the robe already. And then now when it comes to our front facing, on the long continuing side here, not the side that has the peak, the center front, the side here. Um, you have two options. I went ahead and just surged the edge because this is a robe. I don't have to have it super clean underneath. But if you want to, you can press it 5 eighths of an inch, which is the seam allowance, and then top stitch it clean. Um, but also you do want to press under the seam allowance on the shoulder and give that a good press. So whichever one you decide is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and start aligning this together. So there should be a dot right here where that marking is. Go ahead and pin. And then this shoulder, the folded edge of this shoulder should match up perfectly right there. And then there should be a notch. Now you want to continue pinning this all the way down to the hem, matching up all your notches. Okay, so let's head to the machine. And you want to stitch starting here. Go all the way till you get your dot and pivot and go all the way down to the hem. And then once you do that, you want to do the other side the same way. And also don't forget that the center here is still based. So you want to go ahead and just do a regular stitch in between here, making sure you don't catch that fold, okay? So go ahead and do all of that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start right here because this is based and I want to go ahead and do it now. So just back stitch. So I've already done most of this as you can see right here. So I'm just gonna move, move down. So you want to continue stitching. You wanna pivot here and then continue all the way down to the hem. So let me pick back up where I started off because I ran out of thread earlier. Okay, so now that we're still here at the machine, I'm gonna go ahead and 
close the bottom. So two and a half inches from the lower edge, I'm going to go ahead and put some markings. And I'm going to continue that all the way until I get to the end. Okay, so you want to go ahead and do the other side the same exact way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do some understitching as well before we go back to the table. So you want to make sure that the seam allowance is facing your facing, and I'm starting down here at the hem. And once again, you want it to be on the right side of that seam, a little less than an eighth of an inch. Okay, so once you do one side, you want to understitch the other side the same exact way. Okay, so we're back from the machine. We did our understitching and everything. So right here at this little corner, I want, you want to go ahead and kind of trim some of that off to make it not as bulky. And please do not cut through your stitching. You just want to cut a little bit of that bulkiness off. Okay, so let me turn it right. There we go. It's a little smoother. So now let's go ahead and close out the hem. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and measure five eighths of an inch for that cut line. And I'm going to stop five eighths of an inch before I get to that edge. Only on the actual robe side, but right here on the facing, you can cut all that off. And then you just want to make sure you keep that five eighths of an inch from that edge, as you can see. Okay. And let me trim some of this corner too. So now when you turn it right side out, poke out that corner. And now that's nice and clean, as you can see. So you have a couple of options. So now you can turn down a half inch on the inside and make sure you tuck it under here and then just give it a press all the way across until you get to the other side. And then we're just going to top stitch on this side here, okay? So that's how you close out the bottom. So you wanna do the other side the same exact way. Give this a good press and then we'll continue. Okay, so I'm back from the pressing table. As you can see, I went ahead and folded the um, half inch up here. And this is how it looks on the other side. And so basically we're gonna start where this facing is here. And we're gonna stitch all the way along the hem to the other side, top stitching, as you can see on this side. But before we get there, we need to go ahead and close out this collar. So with the collar, we're only gonna cut the seam allowance where that little cutout is without going through your stitching. Okay, and then I'm going to trim just a little bit. So once you give this a really good press, you're going to tuck it inside, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and just pin it in place so I know to slip stitch it a little bit later. Now this step is not in the uh, instructions. They don't tell you to slash and then tuck it. You only see them tucking it, so you're trying to figure out how to do it. That's how they do it, okay? So it give you a nice clean finish. And then also here for the actual facing, 
I'm just going to pin here. We, sh we should be tacking. We should be tacking this down. But before I pin, actually, we're going to be doing some top stitching. Okay, so now that that's like that. I'm going to go ahead and press that facing down and then pin on this side because that's where we should be top stitching at. Now, if you don't want to top stitch, if you want to just keep it clean with all, all, all of that, you're more than welcome to. You can just keep it clean. But I think I'm going to go ahead and top stitch like the instructions show you. Okay. So real easy. I'm just going to follow that stitching line where you feel that facing is show you this way like this so you're just going to follow that facing trail all the way down to the hem and then also you want to top stitch that hem down to the bottom okay so do that come back we're going to continue on with our belt okay so for our belt um, as you can see mine is contrast because i ran out of my main fabric so i just improvised for the sake of this tutorial so um, there should be a notch at the end on one of the short ends, you want to con connect that right sides facing, align those, align that one notch, and then pin. And then now head to the machine. We're going to stitch using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Come back and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and pressed that seam open like that. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it onto itself and I'm going to pin right there in the center just so it can be aligned with the seam. And then I'll start pinning down one side. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on one end, across the short end, pivot, come all the way down. We're gonna, we're gonna stop here and then leave at least like three inches of space, two or three inches of space so we can pull it right side out. And then we're going to start back here, go all the way down, and then pivot and go across the short end. Okay? So do that, come back, and we'll continue. And we're using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, it's all trimmed. Now we're just going to go ahead and turn the right side out. Okay. And then the other side. Okay, so now we're just going to poke out our corners. Drop that in here. Okay. Now once you give it a good press, you just want to head to the machine, tuck in the seam allowance where the opening is, and just give it an edge stitch right here. Okay. So do that, come back, and we'll wrap this thing up. All right. So as you can see, I already have the belt already on the robe. And the last few things you have to do is go ahead and slip stitch this um, neck here, and then also slip stitch the facing, the top of the facing right here at the shoulder, and doing the hem of your sleeve. Now the hem on the sleeve is two and a half inches, um, the same as on hem of the robe. And once you finish up the hem with your sleeve, you're all done. All right, congratulations. Now, I hope you enjoyed the sew along. Be sure to tag me at Norris Dental Ford on all socials, and I will see you in the next video.